Hello people, welcome back to another edition of Heaven's Kitchen. Today we are cooking some pasta dish that to my imagination, I mean, is what's come off the top of my head. I don't have a name for it. Let's just call every pasta dish I make from now on Chester's Pasta. I don't know. So, I've tuned you in a bit late because I don't need to film cooking pasta. Mm. See, Tim gets into the spirit of boredom when he needs it. All the time. So, I've just tuned you in when the pasta's almost done. Brought it to the boil, through immense and pain and toil, nothing else shall I spoil. So, in today's glorious pastifying dish, we have spiced mushrooms. You wish they were spiced. And best roasted turkey. Or boasted turkey breast, whichever way you want to look at it. And of course we have... It's a great part to have in the video here. This is going to be the best blooper in a, inside a video ever. Oh, come on. Seriously. I'm going to blame Tim. Screw you, Tim. No, no. Screw the kettle. Can I just hurry up and clean these away? It's not pickup sticks. <laughs> what? What do you mean? A title screen. What do you mean a title screen? In the, in the last... Was that an actual title screen? Yeah, yeah, it's ginger. Or is it just a black screen? <laughs> With the name of the episode on it. We can film a proper title screen after. Why, why am I discussing? But this is very professional for me. So, as I said before, it all fell out on me. Spaghetti. I was going to make a pun about it, but there's no point now. <laughs> That's the last straw. Get it because it looks like straws. Oh. Right, that has to all be done yet, and if I'm not hurrying up to be more cautious here, it's going to go beyond our dente, and that's going to hurt my hand if I do it like that. Learn from last time, Chester. Learn from last time. So, now we tune it out. Oh, come on, I can tell this is going to be overdone. Here goes, this looks so overdone. Pick it up. You can tell it's overdone when it's slipping off the fork like an eel. Is my pasta overdone? Whoa! Tune in next week, folks, to find out. Oh, what? Perfect. That's mass skill in cooking pasta. It's perfect every time. Mm. Right there. So, once that's done, your whole usual shebang. Empty out that lovely liquid, it's not lovely, it's just water. <laughs> it's just water! <laughs> oh. mm. Don't try this at home, people. Oh. <laughs> what I mean by that is, don't try and flip pasta in a sieve at home. Not, not don't try cooking at home. That's highly advised. Because all I can see is your back. You can fix that, Mr. Cameraman. That could be stuff. Put the lid on so it doesn't grow cold. So, I didn't prepare for this frying pan. There it is. Flying pan. The flying pan. 
flying frying pan at all. Ow. Watch me. Like a boss. Probably should have put oil on first. Mm. I'm doing this like a pro. Spritz of oil. Oh, shit. Went overboard there. Hope it doesn't boil the oil. Uh, and hopefully the camera operator doesn't fall asleep. Have patience, young one. Or old one. Mm. Oh, these are all, oh, wow, I almost dropped it. These onions are almost done. Now to put in another order for them soon. Alright, hopefully it's not like last time, Tim, remember? How much onions I put in the pan. That's because the whole, the thing that has the holes in it is in the lid. Sensor. Oh, go bleep yourself. <laughs> you don't have to censor them if I don't say them. You bleeping idiot. Come on, cook quicker, you bleeping onions. Mash it up. to the middle. Yeah, pre 8 minutes and 5 seconds. This one's going to be a quicker one because I ain't taking so bleeping long because I didn't force you to sit through boiling pasta. Good, it's less weird to watch the water chat for the center swear words yes, in. Yes, there's less swear words in so good luck picking them out. But you know what, just for that remark, just for that crude remark Tim, Next week I'm going to film, next week we're going to film a one hour video and I'm going to make sure I say only one swear word in that entire hour. <laughs> Good luck finding it. Make an hour long silent movie. In fact I won't tell you how many swear words I say because I could do one and then say it in the beginning and then you'll know there's no more. So I'll, I'll say them in very rare gaps. Make sure if I make you Come edit, on, cook. You you edit uh, out the swear words next week. I wouldn't edit them out though. Mm. Would I? Mm. I mean, you're going to my PG Hell's Kitchen. I mean, I know this is the opposite of Hell's Kitchen. This is Heaven's Kitchen. kitchen. Not because it's polite, because it's the opposite of Hell's Kitchen. It's not pressured. It's crap food, and um, you know, it. Tim complete swear words out. It's not the, it's the opposite of Hell's Kitchen. Not because, not because it's like polite, but because it's like not pressured <laughs> food. <laughs> and it's a shoddy camera work as well. That's not a swear word, by the way. Mm. That's an English term of phrase. Come on, onions, cook! I mean, there we go, you want to hear the flames. You know they're going brown soon. <laughs> I wouldn't want to touch them right now. Burn your hand off, you would. Even though you can't even see what I'm doing. Tim, hold the camera up. You're like dropping it to the floor. 
I'm not in the Titanic, I'm in a kitchen. Yours, to be specific. <laughs> Just chuck all of it in there. No, I want to rip it off. You don't want whole slices of turkey in the food, do you? And who wants to eat pasta with something this big in it? Enough big ranting on them. Enough <laughs> bickering, I thought you were about to say. Mm. Alright, I'm turning it down. Turning it down, people. Mm. See, the thing about turkey, people, it's a very dry meat. I'm not chop these up. Well. People, what I just did, do not do. You can't even... I don't know if you can see. Can. I literally just picked a bit of turkey out of the frying pan with my bare hand tin. They can't see, because... Can you hold the camera up? It's like filming my waist. You can't even see your head. Up! <laughs> Jesus Christ, you need a tripod. Not for the camera, for your arm. <laughs> Probably. Oh. There we go. <laughs> oh, my head. I need to really balance this out. We all use these boxes that huh? there's something to lean on. You need something to lean on, people. You hear, heard it here first. I, I apologise for the people eating this. There's going to be some really uneven bits of turkey in here. Mm. I don't know how much I should put in. I'll put a bit more in there. This shall be that bit more as we do it. Sauce, crap. There it is. But first of all, mix it up. See, I'm taking a risk cooking turkey people because it's a very dry meat. Hopefully it pays off. Mm. Oh, I've got to put the pasta and the mushrooms now. Oh god. It tastes good, but it's just so dry. Mushrooms cooked on the blanket up again. This has been done a lot quicker this time, people. Mm. Don't do what I'm doing at home, people. 15 minutes 40. That's no, like constantly going into a bag of turkey and eating it. Ah, oh, my back! For a nice, like a walking thing. Whack the good old 
spaghetti on half or eight more trophy. No one saw that. Um, hopefully, you, know, you saw it. Basically, what happened is I lifted the pan up and passed it, and it just all fell out in one mold, basically. <laughs> or whatever. Oh, I put way too much pasta on. I have terrible judgment of quantities. quantities. Right, I'm going to need all this sauce. Sorry, Tim, none for you. That's fine. Oh, really? You're turning down sauce? Yeah, it's a bottle of oil instead. It's a tomato based sauce, that's why. You... <sighs> In goes the sauce, all around, slosh it around. Get out. Get out! Oh, I'm gonna need more sauce, that's how much pasta I put in it. <laughs> Seriously, I put way too much pasta in it, or maybe I didn't get all the sauce out. I didn't, did I? Crap. You want a spoon? Well, I'll just leave the drawer open. <laughs> <laughs> It's a good thing you can reach it from there, isn't it, Tim? Mm -hmm. Otherwise, I don't even know if I could have managed to close it again. <laughs> right, okay, like well, that made a difference. I right, like that made a difference. Mm, whatever. I've got like no. It looks good. There's an overloading of pasta though and mushrooms. Don't, yeah. don't you want to get the plates out? Oh uh, yeah, hang on. And you need to clean the clean that away so you can put the plates out. Yeah. Well at least it isn't at least it didn't take as long as the pizza last week. <laughs> was that like two hours or something in total? We just crossed the twenty minute mark. See, this is my shortest video yet, people. Mm. Because I cut out all the boring waiting for the pasta to cook at the beginning. If you, if you start, okay, that's a bit bad. If you start rambling on more, it might not be. Alright, mix this up, and I can take it off the heat. Can can we be done now? Yeah, in a minute. Hang on, I've got to do the outro. And just mix this up and then take it off heat. Whatever. So now we tidy everything away, and I'm not going to put you sitting through that laborious act. So, camera up, to my face. Can you see my face? So, no, stop. That's the camera, in, the camera saying yes. <laughs> so, it looks like a pig, it looks like a dog's dinner. Let's be fair. Just show them. Mm. Walk over here and yeah, show they, them. They can see. Okay. Looks like a dog's dinner, let's be fair, but it tastes good. I'll prove it to you. So it looks like a dog's dinner, but it certainly tastes like one. That's disgusting. <laughs> oh, it tastes good. Um, so, thanks for tuning in to Heaven's Kitchen, episode 3. Spaghetti bolognese. Dog's dinner bolognese. <laughs> um, I'm your host and coordinator and cooker and doing everything except filming the camera. But even to be fair, with that, that lame ass cameraman Tim behind the camera, <laughs> I'm still doing a better job without touching the camera being a cameraman. So, 
With that all out of the way, I'm your host Chester Brown and peace out and get cooking people because I know you can.